previously on Factions. Today we're building, and it's gonna be pretty quick, a temporary vault. So this is the border right here, and Napkin just pushed a, a block out. And then you just place the chest like so. And that is how you put a chest outside of the world border on the Archon. It's not a glitch or anything. In this lava here, uh, there are chests right here's the chest just like so I can load all our armor in here We've got a new temporary vault and it's just good to have it's awesome outside the world border chest Hey, what's up guys the Kevin Russia here. Welcome back to factions Thank you for tuning into this show every single day Thank you for liking commenting and sharing this video with your friends Seriously, I, it means so much to me, and I do not thank you guys enough. You may think I do, but I don't. It means the world to me. Factions is part of my daily life. It's it's literally a part of my life. I put hours in the, uh, of time into this every single day, and it's worth it because of how amazing you viewers are. So thank you for, for making me happy, and I'm, I'm hoping I can give you some sort of happiness during the day. And I think you watching and liking shows me that, that I am... Hopefully bringing, a, bringing some sort of smile to your face or some sort of emotion. Because that's the goal with this series. It's all about emotion for me. Thanks for being awesome. Guys, we're going to roll right into the daily factions comment of the day. I'm going to tell you right now, this one kind of is uh, just a heartwarming comment. I'm going to read the entire thing. This comment got over 500 likes in 7 hours. One of the most, uh, the most attention a comment's ever gotten in that amount of time on this video. So, Snowfo Mofo says, This weekend I've been at the beach with my cousin who has Down Syndrome. I started watching your videos on an iPad and he walked in. He started, he started watching them with me and he absolutely loves it. Now when we're messing around, he copies stuff you say like, I'm gonna get your head. And every night he will come and yell, Camping Rusher, Camping Rusher. I'm not sure he understands it, but he loves your enthusiasm. Thanks man, he loves your videos. Oh, <laughs> that is such a heartwarming comment, man. No wonder it got so many likes, dude. That is so awesome. Seriously, that that makes me feel so good and just just making people happy. That wow. I don't. I have no words to explain. I had to share this comment with you. There was no doubt. This was the daily factions comment of the day. Thank you, Snowfo Mofo, and thanks to your cousin for watching this video. And watching these videos and just stay awesome, man. Welcome, Snowfo Mofo, to the tree of comments. Thanks again. Thanks again. All right, let's roll into some faction stuff. Today, you are going to bear witness to the most powerful cannon that you've ever seen in Minecraft a cannon that can break bedrock, legit bedrock. That's all I'm going to say. Stick around. Today, you're going to have your mind blowing. Like my mind was blowing earlier today when I first saw this cannon explode. It is crazy. This Finn mercenary is our secret weapon. And we may be able to purely take over the Archon once you guys see the power behind this thing. Stick around a few more minutes and we'll be there right away. But first, we've got to spend some money on some god apples. We got $800,000 specifically for gapples with a trade with Dolphin Dude two days ago. And then we had a trade with uh, Mason T for some Obsidian. We are up 2.8 million in the last two days. So I thought, you know, we've got each chest, four gapples, 13 in our inventory. We have 17 gapples in all. We need to get more because if we check the bow top and it's just organizing 63,000 users, uh, I'm going to show you the rankings. The rankings are Hawken with 114 grand, Hawkins Alt with 100 grand, uh, Bucky's got 60 million, Napkin 55. Qualified Gumbo and have 35 apiece. Kaboomster 30. And then I'm actually ranked number 8 now. I am on the bow top. First page with 25.8 million. And that's due to the biggest head scam of all time. If you missed that, it was dirty, but it worked. I am now one of the one of the richest people here on the Archon. With that in mind, the richest person should have some gapples. And we're gonna spend 20,000. A million. I don't, we may spend 5, 10. I think we'll do 50. I think we'll drop a million. We'll, we'll drop a million on this. 50, 50 gapples. Oh, look at that chat spam. $20,000 has been taken from your account. Oh, that hurts. But it's worth it, dude. It's worth it. We'll, we'll actually, we'll go 1.2 million here. 64 gapples, just like that. Slash bow. We're now at 24.8 million. And hopefully, still on the bow top. 
Yes, we're still on the bell top, baby. All right, slash E chest. Now we got a stack of gapples, which should do us well at least for at least for a while here. Hopefully, hopefully we don't lose too many, and hopefully we go positive when we when we get some kills and gather some more gapples. That's all I have for you. I'm not gonna keep you any longer from what's in, for what's in store in today's episode. Not only are you gonna see a powerful cannon, but we are going to find out what the New Demic Alliance is planning to do, and we're gonna start finalizing some things. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for liking and commenting. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Well, where are we now? We are not on the Archon for like one of the first times ever in uh, Faction's history. Napkin and I are on a, a test server right now, and Venz and Zach are also in the call. Napkin, why are we here, buddy? Well, Finn showed me a cannon that could bust Bedrock at the top of the nether <laughs> without Bedrock Breaker on. <laughs> Guys, comprehend what he just said. Finn... Our cannon expert, our mercenary, made a cannon that can destroy real bedrock. Like not with bed break not with bedrock breaker on. Like a legit bedrock, unrateable, unbreakable base. He built a cannon that works for sure on his test server. That's why we're here, because we don't know if it works on the Archon yet, and we won't know by the end of today's episode, because it's uh it's a very big build. It's possible. But Finn's not around right now, so we're going to demonstrate the cannon and talk to Secrecy a little bit throughout this episode. So Secrecy, if you're watching, we've got a message for you throughout, so stick around. And everyone stick around. So Napkin, how does this thing work? Because you are... And generally, I know we can't explain too much, because what, what I'm learning is that cannoners, and Napkin just told me this, cannoners hide their stuff. Any new creation they come up with like this... They will not tell a soul because they don't want other cannoners finding out how to do it. So, let, how what what happens here? What, what are we at right now, Napkin? Uh, this is an example of a bedrock base. Uh, bedrock breaker is off on here. It doesn't work. But the cannon that's down there, about 250 blocks, will still break the wall on this. Okay, dude. So, yeah, and I, again, we're not going to do any cuts during this uh between the firing of the cannon and coming over here it's only napkin and i on the server because lots of people are going to question this because for one napkin and i barely understand it can you explain any part of it napkin are you allowed to say like why you uh, think i don't know too much in all honesty i just know it works and i was amazed when i saw it <laughs> yeah so we'll we'll try and get finn in a call in the next two episodes guys to explain it further but you can see, this is like Finn's test server, his realm, and there's tons of cool builds on here. But for the purpose of where we are in the faction show right now, Secrecy has a bedrock vault that contains absolutely all the pieces of gear that they've stolen from us and more. It's their main stronghold, and if we can use that to our advantage to, to not only get this pandemic name back, but blast through bedrock bases, like, yeah, you can see it's legit bedrock. Then it'll be highly advantageous. Napkin, let's go demonstrate this, dude. We're flying really fast. Again, we're going to try and keep each other in view at all times just to prove no one's breaking the bedrock. Because, one, can I say this, Napkin? We are not allowed to be in the chunk where the bedrock is, right? Uh, yeah, you got to be away from the bedrock. You can't be watching it when it happens. Yeah, exactly. So, so we can't actually go over there. That's part of it, dude. Some weird Minecraft physics thing. Again, we don't know much, and we we don't know what we're allowed to say. But I guess that's that's good that we don't know much. This is the cannon. It's inside of here. Obviously, it's massive. Can't show you the cannon until Finn gave us permission, and and he has not done so yet. They they asked us to hide it, but you could probably tell it's a massive build. It's pretty big. It's possible, though, Napkin. Do you hypothesize that this will work on the Archon? Uh, yeah. It's a pretty basic cannon, just in a large size. Large and scale. Yeah, it should work, yeah. Okay, dude. How many TNT, approximately, will it shoot in one shot? I think it's like 1632, 1600. <laughs> and you will notice a lag spike here, like, uh, when it happens. And it shoots around 250 blocks. It has to be far away. Napkin? Shoot it, dude, and I'll show you there's no one online. Napkin, you shoot it. We'll see the lag spike, and then we'll fly right over there instantly without any cuts. So you have full proof. All right, here we go. Here we go. Lock and load, baby. I hear it. Oh, see, frame rate, frame rate, frame rate. And it's fired, and we're good. All right, let's roll. And... 
Oh, it broke the bot. It broke the bottom part. You know what it did? Backside. It did backside. It? And backside, dude. There it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it destroys Un it too. Unbelievable. And you can pick it up too. Yeah. Wow, dude. And like, there's no, cause this is his test server. There's no bedrock breaker or anything. Like, they wouldn't do this to cheat. This is where one of the best cannoners in the world comes to test his stuff, to learn how he uses it on real servers. And a couple guys just logged in now after the fact, but there it is. It destroyed this bottom part. And the weird thing is, and napkin, again, we don't understand this at all. It skips through this first wall and somehow gets over here and blows this part of it up. Yeah, sometimes it'll skip through the walls. Sometimes it'll blow through all of them. Sometimes it just depends. Crazy. Do you want to do one more demonstration? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, everyone's logged on the server now. Now that you've kind of seen it done with for real, uh, we've set up a another demonstration with water walls and kind of spaced out just in case this ever did happen. So look at this. Keep this in your head. And then we're going to go back. Napkin, you're letting me shoot the cannon this time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Uh, so I won't reveal much. I'm just going to go in here. You can already see all the repeaters. I'll hit the button. Uh, Zach and Vems, wait one second. Oh, I already oh, shot yeah. it. Run. I already shot. Run. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh. Right, right oh, back. Yes. Did it work? Yeah. yeah. Did you guys make it out of there in time? Yeah. Uh, no. I oh, lied. I no. Did. Oh, my. Let me go check. Let me check if it worked. Yeah, no. yeah it worked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we were freaking out there because we thought one of the guys was still in the chunk. They can't be in the chunk. Oh, my God, dude. A hole in the bottom. <laughs> Through the water, through four layers, <laughs> five layers, sorry, six layers, not through the seventh, but six layers. That's insane, dude. That's insane. The this might be somebody's base soon. Well, the question is, well, yeah, and that's our next point. The question is, though, will this work on the Archon? And Finn's been working his hardest to optimize things for servers and different settings with the server. Napkin, you th you think it'll work? What, like I know you don't have as much knowledge as Finn, obviously, but you you definitely talk to him more than me. What what do you think? Yeah, he says he's pretty positive it might work because it's pretty basic. Dang, this is basic. It's pretty basic, <laughs> ladies and gents. <laughs> well, I think we'll move on to the message part. I think everyone gets the point. This cannon can shred anything if it works, including bedrock basis secrecy napkin wants the pandemic name back he absolutely wants it and if it's not down this is a warning what, what do you say 24 hours napkin as soon as this video goes up 24 hours later we want to be in a call with one of the leaders of secrecy negotiating a deal for that pandemic name or even them just giving us the pandemic name or we're shredding through the bedrock base yeah. yep yep and there's, there's multiple ways of doing it. And I think this would be one of the funnest ways. But <laughs> all we're saying, Secrecy, is you've been you've been doing some strong things lately. Some strong things that, uh, that we don't like. The New Demic Alliance does not like. If this cannon does work, it's coming straight for you. And we're going to split that bedrock base in half. Why not have a meeting in our brand new outside of the world border chess but still legit vault. How crazy is that, dude? Someone new to Perfect. the series probably just got mind bottled by what I just said. Napkin. It's time to finalize the new Demic team. Where are we at? And yeah, where are we at? That's that's literally the question. Where are we at, Napkin? We're going to start inviting a couple people as we weed them out a little more, we'll keep getting the team bigger and bigger, and then in about a week or so, we'll be final. Final. And by that, he means Team Nudist. We may change the name, depending if we can get the new Demic name. We're still in debate. I'd love you to leave a comment, actually, right now. Scroll down the the fate of our team name. Should it stay as Team Nudist, or we retire Team Nudist to an alt and we go with new demic of course we'd have to get that new demic name first but i'm sure it could be done let us know in the comments below and while you're down there touch that like button real quick i'm serious do it do it thank you yeah so i'm gonna start inviting actually today i'm gonna invite a few uh, uh i've act we've got a general list i'm not gonna reveal it to you yet 
But, like, someone we're going to invite right now is Zach. Uh, Vems is already in. And then I'm going to invite Superballer. These are the guys that were kind of obvious. Some of the guys that you guys hear in the videos all the time. Uh, Jcaz. Invite sent to Jcaz. Let's go with Gumbo as well. And, uh, there. Oh, now Bucky gave Gumbo the leadership of Unity. Well, I'm bringing in Gumbo. And I think we'll wrap it up with that. Still a, a couple more certains on the way. But I thought we'd start with that and roll with that for uh, for a while here. Napkin. And besides that, you're not actually in the team right now. And what seems to be the, the problem? Uh, I'm going to stay with Rob for a little bit until we finalize the list. But there is one spot on Team Nerdist for me. So Yeah, okay. So basically, you're with Rob's faction. And they have a corner claim. And you, like, through purchasing uh, on the Bycraft with your... And then the alts, you have tons of power. Like, you are a powerful man. And when I say powerful, I mean power. You got a lot of claim power. So you can't actually leave Rob. So you're kind of in a negotiation slash... You're not going to leave that corner base out to dry. Because it may come in handy one day. And, and he's a friend of yours and ours, I guess. He's a friend of New Demic. So, yeah, perfect. So Napkin will be here, what, you think within the week? When we say a week finalized, Napkin should be joining as well within the week, right? Yeah, whenever the team's finalized and we're ready and I got a replacement for Rob or something. We are going to invite one more. That's Bucky Beaver 22 our boy. Actually, he just went to Dark Union. I think, he's, I think he's joining in, though. So there it is. Way more spots left on the list, and it's, it's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. Napkin, thanks for meeting me today in the vault and just wanted to finalize things, try and get... Get the new demic allyship back to the most trustworthy state it can be. And I think this is the best way to do that. So we were checking the F list and we wanted to have a little bit of a tussle with Invictive. They are, they're on the F list. We've heard decent things about them. Wanted to give them a test. So we thought we'd make it a little bit fun rather than just PVPing them straight out. Vems is just there. <laughs> Look at Vems. He's literally just picking flowers. And we, we made him leave the call. And we're just going to pull a little bit of a prank on him. He might actually die from this, to be honest. I'm TPing in right now uh, the leader of this team. And now I'm running away. And <laughs> they're going to jump Vems. Go after him. Go after him. <laughs> He's looking at I got like uh, I got Zach, Bucky, and Baller in the call right now. And Man. yeah, Vems, guys, Vems is all alone. Go that way, part. <laughs> He's looking at me, dude. Vems is that way. Okay, dude, they're trying to chill with me. Do they know I'm going to kill them in like a minute? They're going for him. They're going <laughs> to How does he not realize? <laughs> all right, dude, all right. We're going to, I'm going to watch this from afar. Boys, are you ready to jump in? If Vems actually yeah. gets in trouble, we got to help him out. Vems, <laughs> oh, dude, this guy's going right for him. Oh, Vems is getting beat. <laughs> Wait, should I drag him in the TS? Yeah, drag him in, drag him in. All right, yeah, ready. Three, two, one. Yo, Vems, Vems. <laughs> Yo, do you see me, help. dude? Yeah, help. Get him, you. Get him, get him. Oh, help. <laughs> help. I died. Vems, fight back, die. dude. You're versing in victim right now. Oh, yeah. uh, dude, well. you don't even seem concerned. Well, I wanted to fight this Invicta faction. They've only got three guys. I told them to bring around five. We were kind of looking for just an even fight. This was just a silly little prank on Vems. I think he's going to be okay. Gentlemen, we are going to outnumber. How many? We have five of us here, dude. Then they've got mm -hmm. they've got three. They do have one iron and one naked guy. Uh, I guess <laughs> I'll kill the naked guy quick. All right, one down. Vems, tell us when you need our help, buddy. You're getting pounded out though. You're actually hitting them pretty hard. <laughs> nice, Vems. Look at him go. Dude, the thing is, as soon as this battle goes downhill for Vems, we jump. All right, so their leader is Partial Pair, all right? That's the yep. one I'm going to freaking yep. go after right away. If they start to run away, take care of them. I'm going to try and sneak around this guy. Wait, who are you going for? I'm going for the one across oh, the beach right now. Guys. Gear up, boys. Uh, Get ready to jump. Uh, Right, we're, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I got... Oh, I missed my crits, dude! No! Baller, did you just stop? Baller, are you dead? <laughs> I forgot oh, the yeah. cat. Baller's dead <laughs> already, dude! You're embarrassing us, Baller! <laughs> Big dude, he, action. he came for me. I wasn't ready. <laughs> all right, all right. 4v3. This actually just turned into a decent even fight. I didn't get my kill either, so... Except I didn't mistake that hard, but gee. <laughs> oh. Vems got this guy trapped in a Baller, you pulled a Vems, dude. Actually, oh, Partial's... Yeah, who, who killed you, oh, Partial? 
Partial killed him. Yeah, yeah, partial's yeah. actually not that bad. Ah, right, dude. Oh, dude, 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 three hearts. Jeez Louise. Jesus. Oh. Brayden, don't be dumb. Partial pair, dude. Who is this guy? Oh, me and Bucky just got a kill. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Yeah. I'll I'll deal with partial, dude. Is partial, I think he's leader of Invictive or like head mod or something. I'm not too sure. Oh, 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 he forgot his helmet though. He forgot his helmet. Oh, god dang it. Oh, his iron's killing me. Shrimp. The guy I killed earlier. All right, partial just re-geared fully. I got a kill. Who got it? Oh my god. Full inventory of P4. Vams, dude. Our boy Vams, dude. Our boy Vams. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Oh boys, oh boys, oh boy, oh dude, I was at two hearts. All right, boys, I may call you in here. TP me. Yeah, a I'm dumb man is one who's too cocky, and I'm about to lose this fight if I don't call my boys in. Let's be honest, ladies and gents, this partial guy's got some skill. Oh, I see you. Don't need to TP is not that dumb. All right, Vams, TP in your boys, dude. All right, dude, let's play some ping pong, Vams. I left you out here to die, and you did the exact opposite. All mm. right, partial's on the run, dude. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, his two teammates weren't as skilled as him, and uh, as soon as he started winning this fight, the boys are in. New Bamic will take care of him. Let's get some free gear and some gaps, boys. Oh, Bam. Oh! Oh, something oh dude, there. he just triple broke, and we didn't oh, kill him. <laughs> dude, that guy just took all... I don't think I've ever seen that happen. All his clothes his off in again. one shot, dude. Wow, that's a skill. And he lived. We'll come on, back in. Come on. Yes! There we go. Oh, dude, he had so many more gaps, too. His other boy's in now, too. Yeah. We grabbed the gear. Perfect. GG, dude. Well, Invictive, it. though. Showing their stuff. That partial guy's got some skill. He was he was a lot of prop 3, too, but some prop 4 on him. There she blows, baby. Well, we wrap up today's episode on our own, but I thought today was a very cool day. Seriously. Like... Those cannons, man! Oh, that cannon is insane! It's a bedrock breaker where you don't need the bedrock breaker plug-in. The question is, will it work on the Archon? That is the big question because the server, the Archon server has different settings than that, uh, than Finn's test server there. So, we'll see if it does work. I don't know, man. That, that, that can literally go through any base if there's no one in the chunk. So... We'll see how it works, and it's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be crazy. A couple of the guys have moved into the vault here, and I've actually loaded some gear. We'll load mo some of this gear. One of the things New Demic's very short on right now is is gear because, of course, we got God Apples earlier, so we're, we're decent on God Apples, but gear itself is just it's short a little bit. So it's good to have some gear. It was nice to get these kills tonight. Partial pair, dude. I I could have stayed, but you guys, so let's I can't lie to you. That guy was that guy was beating me there in PvP. So he's definitely got some skill. Uh which makes him an enemy though. Which makes him a target. So he he better watch out. Because people with skill tend to have supplies. And I like supplies. So <laughs> you may see you may see us at your doorstep very soon, partial. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, everybody. If you did, please remember, seriously. To touch that like button. The likes and the comments. And you just being here honestly really helps me out a lot. So just thanks for thanks for being the best viewers in the world. Seriously, you're helping this show expand to an audience that is so much bigger than I could have ever imagined. And again, it's thanks to you. I love you guys. Seriously, you're awesome. Oh, internet hug. There it is. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do a crate key, baby. Thanks for liking, commenting, doing your thing. Join the rest of by subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. $50 armor kit. One of these days, I'm going to get the $600 armor kit or $600 rank, and you're going to see the biggest freak out you've ever seen, baby. Guys, remember, pvp.thearchon.net's got some big things coming this summer. In less than two weeks, we drop one of the first big things, and it's revolved around the factions world, and it will change everything. So be ready for that. Come jump on the Archon. Things are heating up this summer. Recent five donations to the Archon rolling from the dreaded Bionic MC back while it's your boy and Pokey4. Thank you for your purchases to the Archon. Have yourselves a beautiful day, everybody, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Goodbye.